In this video, we will be going through all the features of the new DBX Go Rack. While the Go Rack can be used for many applications, in this example, we're going to cover how to set it up with a main PA system and powered subs. To do this, you'll need to make the connections first. Connect the main left and right outputs from your mixer to the left and right inputs of the Go Rack. Make sure the mic line switches are set to accept line input. Then connect the left output to your left powered sub and daisy chain that to your left powered main. Next, connect the right output to your right powered sub and daisy chain that to your right main speaker. Make sure your mixer and speakers are turned off. If you're running amps, make sure those are powered off as well. Plug in the power adapter to apply power to the go rack. Power your mixer first and then apply power to your amps or speakers. All of the buttons on the go rack have more than one function. The mute button will mute or unmute the go rack's outputs, while pressing and holding this button will enter routing mode. There are three routing options in the go rack listed here. The default is routing option one, which sums all the inputs to mono and sends them to both of the go rack's outputs. Routing option two will keep the stereo imaging throughout the signal path. Routing option 3 sums the left and right inputs to mono while keeping the aux input in stereo with the option to EQ if needed. We'll choose routing option 2 for this example. In order to provide enough headroom while operating the go rack, you'll want to set initial system levels. In order to do this, first turn down your amps or powered speaker levels. Make sure all of the processor buttons on the go rack are turned off and set the volume encoder to 70. Send signal to the left and right inputs of the go rack and adjust the input gain knobs until the LEDs occasionally light orange. Turn up your amps or speakers until just under clipping. Lower the volume controls if your amps or speakers are clipping. This will improve performance. If you notice the clip indicator dot appear on the display, then you're clipping the GORAX limiter and you should lower the volume encoder, input gains, compressor, EQ, or subharmonic synth. You're now ready to set up feedback suppression. By pressing the anti-feedback button, the go rack will automatically detect feedback. This simplicity makes the go rack extremely easy to use. Pressing and holding the anti-feedback button will allow you to choose your feedback options. Option 1 will offer the highest level of quality and is intended for live music. Option 2 will provide the best protection against feedback and is intended for music and speech. Option 3 is typically used for speech applications using wide filters. We'll choose option 1 for this example. Press the compressor button to enable it. The compressor on the Go Rack is a soft knee over easy compressor with a fixed ratio of infinity to 1. There's only one parameter that affects all of the necessary functions of the compressor. Press and hold the compressor button, then adjust the volume knob until you've achieved the compression amount that you want. The subharmonic synthesizer can be used when more low end is required. It analyzes frequencies around 100 Hz and creates synthesized frequencies an octave below. Typically, this is only used with PA systems that are running subwoofers. Press the subsynth button to enable it. Press and hold the subsynth button, then use the volume knob to dial in the correct amount of subsynth effect. Press the EQ button to enable EQ on the Go Rack. There are 16 EQ presets available to choose from. To access and change these presets, press and hold the EQ button. What you choose here will ultimately depend on your ears and what sounds right for the venue that you're in. For this example, we're going to choose option 8. However you decide to use the Go Rack, the simplicity and portability will assure that you don't compromise your sound quality. If you have any questions, please visit www.dbxpro.com.